are a recording. Because I don't give a fuck. Yo. Welcome to a new episode of the Pull of These Podcast. Where yeah. we take a trip to Smack City and talk about some pop culture afterwards. Yeah. I'm your host, Big L, with me as always. Freddy Diablo. And it's me, it's me, it's DJ Ernie. Oh snap! Yeah, oh, I just wanted to shout shout out to the listeners out there because I was there's a new feature on SoundCloud that you're able to see like who where people are hearing you from. Yeah. So I'm we hit, we I we could say that the Pulling These podcast is an international podcast. Nice. Because <laughs> nice. we have a few listeners in Dublin. <laughs> we have oh, yeah. <laughs> shout out to Ireland. Yeah. What yeah. up? What up? <laughs> Wait, doesn't Angela live in Dublin? It might be her. So. It might, yeah. <laughs> it might be. She's, one of the, she's one of the four people that are listening from Dublin. Yo, oh, shout out to Angela. Oh, shit. <laughs> she got her friends here in, yeah. here in the South Bay, <laughs> on SoundCloud. Nice. And we got uh, one listener in, in Moscow. Shout out to you, my guy, if you understand. You know, what's up? My comrade. Yeah, shout comrade. out. Comrade. Nice. Uh, we're taking a shot of vodka for you one day. And one, one, one listener in Spain. Oh, hey. yeah. so and we're going international, baby. Shout out yes. to my international fans, Woo. to our niche international fans. Might be one of my half siblings in Spain. There you go. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yo, we got family everywhere, baby. We got family everywhere. My seeds everywhere, bro. We got international. Got blood international. On the <laughs> International affairs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to the New York, there's a lot of New York uh, cats too. There's a few people in the Bronx. Nice. Mount Vernon. Shout out to you guys, to all our hey. listeners. So that's a little cool feature that SoundCloud has now on the app that you're that's able cool. to like, where they're listening from and stuff like that. <laughs> now, you, now you know I don't listen because I'm in Yonkers. You don't see Yonkers yeah. listen. <laughs> <laughs> Man, come on. <laughs> uh, I, I listen when I'm on the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you could have been like, I don't, I don't listen on SoundCloud. You could have got them away with it. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I have the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm literally listening to it right now. Yeah. Phrase like, listen, man. <laughs> I put the video out, all right? <laughs> listen, man, I put the video out on YouTube. <laughs> We got some Jersey heads too. Jersey, Mountain View, whatever that's at. I love uh, the most, like these guys. <laughs> the most listens are from Hilton. New York, I guess Hilton, New York. Shout out to you. All right. <laughs> Sounds like a rich place. Yeah. Sounds like you're fancy up there in Hilton, mm-hmm. wherever that is. Mm, <laughs> yes, we love pulling these over here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so should we should we start off with the Batman news, guys? The the rumored Batman video game that's coming out. Uh-huh. Like, uh, it seems like there's um, like they're developing a new uh Batman game, and it seems uh, it's like the Arkham series, but uh, like the same kind of format, but they want to focus more on new villains, like not the same old uh. Like Two Face, Riddler, Joker, villains like you know the common villains. So I'm gonna give guys more like uh, I think um, they have like Calendar Man in there and like okay. you know Victor Zaz and stuff like that, like the low tier guys. And it seems like also it was uh, it was supposed to be a Damian Wayne video game, but I think DC was like and Warner Brothers was like, mm, no, nah, let's put Batman in there. <laughs> Get over so, Yeah. So that's the the part that was kind of like, okay, well, it could have been cool if, you yeah. know, something else. But there's also, there's this, you know, because it's all right now, it's a lot of like he said, she said. It's not, nothing's, yeah. you know, they, I don't think there's a trailer yet, you know? So it's like, yeah. um, I'm hoping that they have a thing where you can pick. Like, you know the character you want, so it's not just Batman. It could be Batman, or you could play as uh, 
Damien Wayne or you can play as uh, Dick Grayson, shit like that. Like, so you can play the game depending on what, you know, whoever you want to play the character as. So you don't have to be Batman. Mm. I think that's where they want to, you know, they're heading towards, but who knows, you know? So is Rocksteady that's making it? I don't think it is, right? No, I don't think so, no. Oh, wow. That's what I, th- I think it's the guys that made uh, Origins. Oh, so, uh, oh. Rocksteady Montreal? Yeah. So I think they just uh the true successor for uh Got- Gotham Knight, right? Arkham mm-hmm. Knight. Yeah. It's not gonna come out for probably to like the next generation while well, the next generation systems are out already like or some stuff like that. But... Era. but that's what I'm saying. If it's not even like the legit sequel, like you know what I mean? Why yeah. not make it a, a different character? Even with yeah. Damon, I'm like, uh I'd rather like a uh Dick Grayson game. Like mm-hmm. Nightwing would have been. A Nightwing dope. game would be dope. Yeah. Like, motherfuckers are tired of playing as Batman. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Like, I was happy with Arkham Knight being, like, the last game. And I was yeah. waiting for, like, some new shit. Maybe, like, a Superman game from Rocksteady. No. Yeah. Even a Red Hood game would be fucking dope, probably. That would be cool. Uh, they didn't, they Arkham... didn't kill him off in Arkham Knight, did him? No. Did they? In Arkham Knight, they have DLC where you play as Red Hood fighting oh, Black man. Mask. Nice. See, shit like that is cool. Like... Yo, you know, I never played like Arkham Knight. Like, I, I, I played the first stage, but then, like, when I hit the Batmobile, I was like, "It's a turnoff." Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm good. Like, it's just the Batmobile is a turnoff, but it's so worth it to go to like the Batman parts of the game. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, oh, I'm really gonna have to fucking be good with this driving shit. Yeah, and, like, try to shoot missiles and. I started. Just too much a, I started that mm-hmm. game on hard, so the yeah. Batmobile sections were. Horrible for me. There was one. That's why. The... Go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, there was one at the end where like you fight a whole bunch of them at once, and I'm, yeah. I remember at that part I got killed so many times. That's what it is too. I think if I would have just played it like after a while, because I kept on playing like normal or whatever, but if I yeah. was like easy, maybe I would have. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's probably what it is. I never went to like the easy route, so if I probably play easy, I probably get to the Batman stuff sooner. And I'll yeah. probably enjoy. It. I think you. It's the gameplay is dope, but the story yeah. is, I think, even better than the gameplay because of what yeah, happens at the end. Oh, okay. Like something crazy like, happens. Yeah, but that's the thing too, because like I know bits of the story. Like supposedly, like the Joker is back somehow cause by affecting like a few people, like. Regular people in Gotham, they become the Joker or something yeah. like that. Okay. But it was like a crazy twist that you kind of oh. see coming. Well, yeah. And the end part is just like that twist, like blown up to maximum. That is the twist makes it worth it that everybody knew like the Red Hood was Arkham Knight <laughs> before That's the not game the came twist. out. <laughs> that you saw coming from. No, that's what I'm saying. They're making that with the twist, they're making up with that. Yeah. <laughs> The obvious twist. Yo, I remember I was like, the Arkham Knight can't be Jason Todd. It just can't be. That's way too easy. Because it would have been a better game and they'd just be like Red Hood. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I mean? Just but make him Red Hood. I think they're just trying to keep with that Arkham theme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Arkham Knight. And they probably, I guess, in their own heads were trying to throw people off. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I might go back to that game to see. It's good. It's worth it. Like yeah. playing the Batman sections on hard is like a fucking yeah. masterpiece. Yeah. yeah. That's the yeah. thing though. Like if you want to do that on hard, you have to get through the Batmobile sections on hard. <laughs> yeah. And that shit was fucking crazy on normal. Uh, yeah. I'm like, Yo. I'm supposed to shoot a, like rockets while I'm dodging rockets. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. yo. And it's a fucking tank i'm trying to dodge <laughs> like, everybody's shooting fuck? at the same time you gotta be like straight yeah, like, and oh she doesn't work like this <laughs> <laughs> i never saw batman do that <laughs> like i understand they were, they were trying to add like another concept like everybody was feeling to play like the batmobile that's what it was like i would have been a good like one two missions with the batmobile or just drive around like on some grand theft auto type of shit driving around just driving around would have been dope. That would have been dope enough. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, let me get to the next that the next stage. So swinging around, yeah, or, or you know, gliding. I'll just ride the fucking Batmobile. Yeah, exactly. 
they have these Riddler stages where you, you drive like through the race. subways. Yeah, it's like a race through the subways in the Batmobile. Those are yeah. mad fun. Yeah, that was that was pretty fun. Even though like I kept dying, <laughs> it was <laughs> fun to get. It was fun, and it was like uh, it was definitely satisfying to get through it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, like I I think they should have been like those those should have been side missions, not like something that you could kind of like avoid if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Not not something that was inevitable because yeah, like, that's what made it like. And then on top of that, like you feel like, okay, I killed all all these eight guys, all these eight tanks, and then another eight come, and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, why is this longer than it should be? Like, this yeah. Sense. I remember always dreading the tank parts so whenever they would, whenever yeah. I would know they would come around. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. They're probably like, oh, you know, people want to ride the Batmobile. Let's just make multiple <laughs> games about the Batmobile. But honestly, though, it's not that many. Compared to Batman, like the Batman shits is way more than the tanks. Yeah, I will hope is like so. Every once in a while, you you would get the tank shit, but mm-hmm. it's the way the way way majority is Batman. No, but like um, every time I feel like uh, from what I remember, every time you get on the Batmobile, basically you're fighting those tanks because oh, yeah. just they're coming. You know what I mean? That's why so, I, I ignored the Batmobile throughout the whole game. I just flew around like like in Arkham City. Uh, oh, because when you ride the Batmobile, like those like battles yeah. pop up, you get aggroed mm-hmm. by all those tanks. Yeah, so I'm like fuck it, I just fly around so with that Batman. That's yeah. probably why. Okay, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And now like, I... story parts where you have to do that shit, then I will do it there. But other yeah. than that, fly around as Batman. Fuck the Batmobile. Because <laughs> there's times where I was just like, I kept fucking fighting, and it was like, yo, why do they keep coming? But like now, I understand. I should. I should. Okay. Yeah. Should it's like with the, with the thugs in the street. Like if you run around and like land all over the place, you're gonna run yeah, into a right. fight like almost every time. This makes sense. Yeah. Also, no way to avoid most of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I know that. <laughs> Yeah, after the first like the first battle I have with the fucking, I was like, I'd rather just fucking glide. <laughs> if, I, if this is the shit I gotta deal with, like, uh, I can't even enjoy this. <laughs> I gotta fucking yeah. do mad shit. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I, they just fucked up because like the pacing of it. It was like the they don't even sucks. let you fuck around with it. Like they, all right, all right. The first mission with the battle, where we gotta fight these four dudes, these four trucks or whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? And you're like, is, this is the first time you're not sure what the fuck you're doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather, from, like, I'm at the point that I'd rather play, like, a Nightwing game. Like, just fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Actually, mm-hmm. Arkham Knight has a Nightwing DLC where you, yeah. like, foil the penguin, like, robbing a bank or something as Nightwing. Yeah. yeah. They got mad shit they could do. They could do a fucking, like, I'll play a fucking Batgirl game, too. If it no, comes Batgirl back. thing, yeah, too. That'll be, that'll be more interesting than a. Another fucking Bruce Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Another... I'm done with Batman games. Like the yeah. the Arkham trilogy is done. You're like good. I feel like that yeah. they wrapped that shit in a bow. It didn't end perfectly, but you know, it was, it was yeah. Good. I might fuck with the tell Telltale uh, Batman stuff. So. I've I've been wanting to get into that, but I'm still kind of recovering from being tired of the Telltale games. Why? Because it's like oh the. Uh... The reader adventures that you get to pick, you choose. Like, Not just that, because like, they always use the same engine on all their games. Mm. Like it's the same graphic qualities every fucking time, and I get tired of that. I always want it's the same shit all the time. I just want something new. Yeah, yeah. And Batman is, is the same thing as like the Walking Dead games, but with Batman. Yeah. But is it more like detective shit in those games with Batman? I've have I haven't gotten far enough for the detective shit. I just did like the oh. intro, and I was like, "Oh, this is Walking Dead, but with Batman." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with the Walking Dead, I, I think at when uh, the point of the game when I go to that hideout with Glenn's there, yeah. I think that's when I stopped playing. And I was like, "All right, I'm good." Like, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the first one is the best one. I highly recommend playing that game. Yeah. That shit is dope as fuck. Okay. Like, the later ones, it feels like just excess. Yeah. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's the second one. The one where they go to the farm and, like, uh, there's the cannibals or whatever. Oh, yeah. No, that was the first one. 
Uh, that's the first one. Okay, so yeah, that's the that's the one that I was I was like, that's my favorite one. Yeah. Oh, okay. The cannibals. Yeah, I've been meaning to check out. I think those those Walking Dead games got overshadowed once The Last of Us came out. Oh it was yeah. Like, I think it was pretty much the same concept, right? The, the little girl and the guy, yeah. Yeah. you know. Then some tragedy shit happens with the guy at the end. Last of Us knocked that shit out the park. Yeah. But it, it always felt like a similar game to me when it came out. It was like around the same time, too, it came yeah. out. Yeah, the theme was exactly the same shit. Yeah, yeah. Same type of story and shit. But that first Walking Dead was dope. Like, with the cannibal story, you get the choice to, like... Either just keep on eating what you're eating, or say like, "Yo, this is this, this is fucking people meat. What the fuck? <laughs> it's people." Yeah. Of course, I freaked out. I was like, "This is people." <laughs> you had to get all Rick on them. Yeah, of course, <laughs> like, man. Like, nah. nah. The ch- I remember the choice was uh, it was it was like save the girl. It was like something like tell the girl or like tell the rest of them or something like that. Because oh, it was yeah. interesting like that, where it's like, because because definitely the, the the two options, somebody was gonna get pissed off at you. Nobody nobody vote like it's never win win. It's yeah. always like win lose. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like you know, basically like you had to face the consequences. Like once you chose whatever you chose, you had to like know that that's there's consequences to that. Like when the first one, when I say the first thing I remember, I was like. I didn't know what I was doing, so I was playing, and like, I, and they gave me the two options: whether to save the kid or save the father, or something like that, or save your kid, something like that. Like, and then yeah. like, so like, I saved my kid, you know. So the guy, so the kid's father basically like hated me now because yeah. of that, you know. So it's like, yeah. oh shit! Like, I was like, I, I can't like, can't save both. Like, what the fuck? And like, it made yeah, me yeah. think, okay, now I know what's going on. Yeah, it's like repercussions. Like that. Yeah, yeah. I was like thing about it too. It's like, oh mm-hmm. shit, you know. That's the type of shit I love in video games. I love it when they do that shit. Like Knights of the Old Republic, yeah. like that type of shit. I love it. But yeah. then, for me, like you have to have that and some kind of like gameplay. Yeah, right? like action. Yeah, yeah. yeah to make, Walking yeah, to Dead make was them. all like dialogue and choices. It's like this. Mm-hmm. And they threw like a little zombie hunting missions, or like you going for supplies and type of yeah. shit. Well, all you're doing is like moving a cursor around the screen and like clicking on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> over here, and the story's gonna take me over here now. Like yeah. mist, remember that shit? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the first five minutes. You're like, this shit is lame. Yeah, this shit is whack. <laughs> Garbage. Super Nintendo's better. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, like, what game is this? You never played Mist? No. It was Genesis, right? No, it was PC at. Way back at the oh, time, like these are. I know you oh, played yeah. that shit in school. What was that? Maybe. <laughs> like they, <laughs> they had they had Mist installed in all the computers in my elementary school, and mm-hmm. that's all we did. Like during like library time, instead of reading, yeah. we just go to the computer and just play Mist. <laughs> it was foggy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it was like rainy, and fuck. like all you did was just, like click on things to like investigate. So yeah, it, yeah. It's um, one of those games where, like. All you have to do is just memorize all the right choices, and you could beat the game easily. Yeah. <laughs> One of those. One I remember of back then, like we used to be like, "Whoa, what the fuck? It looks so real." <laughs> it's crazy, yo. Yeah. We live in the future. We're living in the future. I remember mm-hmm. I saw Doom when that shit first came out on PC. Oh shit. Yeah, and I was in DR when I first saw it on my my cousin's PC. Yeah, oh, I remember when. Yeah, Doom look always looked crazy. <laughs> like I was yeah. like, you could play games on the computer. What the fuck? I remember thinking yeah, like well. it was super scary. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, they used to, like like you said in school they used to play p- computer games in elementary yeah. school. So like we had like the the first like new computers like back in the eighties. So it's pretty much just uh like the the game from Big. That you have to choose, make decisions and like you know, <laughs> Oregon Trail, Oregon shit like Trail. that. Yeah, that's what they they had that from the get. Yeah. So when like Doom came out, I was like, oh shit, finally a computer game that's just like action. Uh, you oh, get to do shit. shit like, yeah. You had that in school. Yeah. Oh, Lords. So you know, holy shit. School, like you're paying tuition, so you're like, <laughs> you better get some high tech shit. <laughs> Yo, I don't say you had garbage computers. Oh yeah, <laughs> we, had like, we had like one modern computer, and the rest were like old, like 
green and black Macintoshes. Yeah. That all had Oregon Trail. Yeah. <laughs> like that that one modern computer had missed. Like with Lords is like they they'll take it'll, they'll take like a group like five kids like at a certain time that day because it'll, it'll be like computer day. Yeah. They only had like five computers. <laughs> So it'll be like the kids going in during the day, throughout the day or the week. I forgot how it worked, but I know it was like it wasn't like the whole class. It was just like a handful of us, and we got to do whatever we wanted to do. Damn, Lords was mad advanced, man. We had three computers in our library. <laughs> <laughs> That's what from what I remember, but that was so fucking long ago. Yeah, <laughs> I could be remember shit wrong. I remember but. bringing an AOL CD, thinking like I could install it on the computer and. Somehow, magically, we could get the internet. Yeah. <laughs> All the kids were like, yo, let's install it and like, watch porn and shit. I was like, yeah, that's where yeah. I brought it. <laughs> It'll take about two hours to stream that porn, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, one minute takes like an hour to, to download. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I remember those days, but you were just there. Just fuck it. I don't know how we did it, bro. That was crazy. Like, we were just standing there waiting for a long time for something. Somehow... <laughs> Somehow it was worth it to download a web page with like just pictures of characters. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I waited two hours for this. Yeah, that's all I did at, at, back then. Like, was go on the internet and look at Dragon Ball Z pictures and save them onto the, on a floppy disk. Yeah. Which will hold like five pictures. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, it's fucking weak back then. Yeah. Bad week. It was fucking garbage back then, man. Yes. <laughs> oh man, just like we lived through it. We had to deal with that shit. Having discs, I remember like going to high school with this, like the, for the computer and shit like that. <laughs> ah, do not miss those days. <laughs> I remember a kid brought a floppy disk with like two porn pictures in there. Like, oh my god where did you get these holy fuck she's showing her butt <laughs> in the meantime it was probably easier just to get a magazine a porn yeah. a porn magazine just yeah, yeah. back then it was just easier to go to channel 71 yeah <laughs> know what I'm saying yeah. everybody had that illegal cable box back yeah. in the day free cable baby 70, the 71 I guess for our international listeners, we have to explain. Oh, that's <laughs> true, yeah. <laughs> you got to remember, we're international, guys. That's true. Explain shit. <laughs> so I'm sure so, internationally they had illegal cable. They used to have illegal cable boxes all over the place. Yeah, so probably, but... They would get the concept. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, like... Yeah, because in the they already had, like, satellite... <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. They had, like, satellite TV and cable in DR, so I'm like, all right, so... But in New York, there was a time that you could hack the cable boxes and get pretty much all the yep. channels easily because it was like the technology was so fucking easy to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So growing yeah, we up, we were able to watch all the pay per view movies that were on at the time for free. And all the porno channels, the two porno channels, <laughs> we were the Playboy channel yeah. and Spike. Spice. <laughs> yeah. Playboy channel was when there was nothing good on Spice. Yeah, but spice was where everything was. Where it was <laughs> at, bro. They never showed yeah. penetration. Yeah, you knew. <laughs> but, you knew. Yeah, <laughs> you, you get the gist of it. Like I know what's going on there. But as kids, you're like, yo, this shit is crazy. Like they're showing a lot. And then you, when you get older, like, oh, they spice didn't show shit. Spice like is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to like, your porn penetration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where is the full penetration? Yeah, I want to <laughs> see the whole fist go in. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see the the results of the punch. You're just getting like overshots of the guy on top of the girl. You never see like anything else like the girl into it. And I remember but, you back, know. back then being an insecure teenager, I would just like watch the lesbian scenes. And I'd watch, like, <laughs> any scenes with dudes in there? Because like I'm not I'm not gonna be touching my penis while looking at that guy. <laughs> I don't want him to be present while touching my penis. I'm gonna look directly at him. That's crazy because like back then I was more into like the lesbian scenes than I was than I am now. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't I don't care about lesbian scenes anymore. Yeah, because back then like, oh this shit's hot. It's like two oh, girls, oh. that's better than a girl and a guy. <laughs> but now you're like fuck that. That's Give me that gang back. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> I want all the black guys in a row behind the couch and the little white girl in the middle. <laughs> a bukkake. A black hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Title drop. <laughs> black hockey. <laughs> Uh, uh, every time I see that picture, I'm like, uh, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> the infamous picture yeah. that is, gets mo- m- mimicked and homic. <laughs> they're all dressed in white. Uh, <laughs> you know why they're dressed in white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the contrast. <laughs> <laughs> they're about to wear that little girl right now, a little white yeah. girl, be worn out. I used to be insecure because I was like, my penis is small compared to all these porn guys. <laughs> <laughs> like you realize these guys are like 2% of the population. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> of the human population. Or, I mean, I'd be comparing right. myself, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not as big. But you as find as out as girls are not into that shit as much. Like, they don't want dudes that big. <laughs> like. <laughs> Well, the reason it was big is because you're watching it on a TV. So it's like the whole size of a TV. Like, like fuck. <laughs> That's a big ass dick. Holy shit. <laughs> I could never measure up to that. <laughs> you're just pointing, you just have your penis next to the television. You're like, look. I'm supposed to compete with this. I'm a freak. <laughs> Who am I talking to? Yeah, I have a micro penis. <laughs> Compared to these guys. <laughs> oh my god. Well, then you realize, oh shit, it's on TV. <laughs> like he's a... Yeah. TV adds an extra 10 pounds, guys. <laughs> when you're a kid, you don't think about <laughs> Normally, when you're a kid, you don't masturbate, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not me. I started at five. <laughs> so I started ahead of everybody. <laughs> You didn't know what you were just doing. You were just tugging on it because, like, yeah. yeah, I'm grown now. I'm grown. Hey, <laughs> I'm masturbating. That story about me burning my mom's bed, I, I never told you what I was doing before I started playing with the lighter. <laughs> yeah. I could I could see you as a kid, like, being, like, tugging your shit. And, like, and then you find a lighter, and be like, oh, this is more fun. <laughs> Let me just do this at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I think I found something out about myself. <laughs> Like, uh, now that the, for, let's go for the trifecta and burn my sister alive. <laughs> yeah. And now I, I, I can't ejaculate without burning some, something living alive. <laughs> I have to watch it while masturbating. Yeah. Yeah. Burn. 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 I want to see I want to see the life leave your eyes. <laughs> That's the only um. way I can climax. <laughs> With fire. <laughs> fire and death. <laughs> and on that note, right. I'm going to get another White Claw. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to ask some questions to myself while getting that White Claw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to look back on a lot of stuff right now. Was hey. it um, Was it only me or my hot box? Um, like there was, it was, there was no audio to my Spice channel. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, and I remember like the early versions of the hot box. It used to be like little glitches. Sometimes yeah. I don't know if yours came with like the button in the back that you, yeah, every yeah. time they like they get like static, you have to press it like for it to clear up. So I guess yeah. like, that type of shit that was going on. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know how that thing worked. Whenever I, <laughs> whenever I got it to work on the porno channels, I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna ejaculate today because I'm not gonna do yeah. that shit again. <laughs> it's gonna happen." Yeah, the yeah, shit. I'm gonna watch this shit. Let's make sure I lock my door. I was so disappointed that the the when it was digital, the cable boxes went digital that you you weren't able to like the really hot box. Yeah. Like that. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's when we stopped with the cable boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Man, fuck this digital shit. Yeah, fuck that. It was all torrents for me after that. <laughs> so I got pay for porn now. Fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. That's when all then these I websites made... started coming out. Yeah, because they made it easier to order shit on with the remote. Like, oh, I'll pay for like I ain't gonna pay no fourteen ninety nine for a porno. <laughs> I don't think I ever paid for a porno in my life. Yeah, yeah. With the like, we we grew up right on the cusp of the internet. 
yeah. porno explosion. Once the internet came out, any kind of porn is on the palm of your hands. Yeah. <laughs> any kind. And <laughs> <laughs> I remember one of the first like sites I went to was blackass.com. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just pictures. It was just pictures, though. It wasn't like videos or nothing like that. Because the 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 guy that put me on to like the internet, because the first time I got a laptop, you know, I didn't know shit about it. So he was like, "Oh, you got to do this. You got to get a modem. You got to connect it to the, you know, you got to connect it to the the phone line. Yeah. You got to get this type of wire." But he was like, he was. It was in high school, and he was like, "Shout out to Torlin. He was like the smart tech guy." I Torlin. Or, yeah. So he was like hooking me up with all that stuff when I first got my first laptop for internet connection. And he was like, yo, go to blackass.com. Man. Check it out. <laughs> check when you're out a kid, out. like you just type any like random sex word and it's always like a mad tame sex word. Like yeah. boobs.com. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Look at all those yeah. boobs. <laughs> Just like plain porn with like super high speedos. Yeah. <laughs> just pictures. <laughs> That's yeah. all the thing too. I was like mad hype because it was like, wow, pictures. Yeah. <laughs> but look at all those pictures. I can't wait for that one to load. That one looks good. <laughs> if you would have told my younger self how easier it would have been, like you get it on your phone, like mad quick. <laughs> like I would have been like, whoa, the future is great. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live. I want. I just want to sleep and wake up when that's available. <laughs> like you can watch porno on your phone. <laughs> like what? In the shower? Not even your computer? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, when I figured out you could like get in the computer, that was yeah. it for me. <laughs> Game over, guys. I figured everything out about myself. <laughs> <laughs> what I liked, what I didn't like. Yep. Oh, we got a guest. We got a guest in the background oh, right now. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. He's waiting for his mom to put him back to bed. <laughs> I woke up, so he had to tuck me yeah. back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, nah, son, go back to sleep. Yeah. I used to try to, I used to, try to play that shit with my mom. Like, yeah. I can't <laughs> go to sleep, so, you know. Are you, what are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> it's two in the morning, son. Go back to sleep. <laughs> it's two in the morning, and you have school. If you don't go to sleep, I'm gonna make you go to sleep. <laughs> oh man! Well, we're talking about fire and death, which uh, which would be a perfect segue to the Anakin Skywalker news that we're getting today. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Fuck the high ground. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a rumor that Hayden Christensen is uh, going to show up on the Obi-Wan Kenobi show on Disney Plus so that should be interesting yeah I'm, I'm hyped about that if it's true like yo the possibilities because yeah, yeah. I think one thing one thing they could do is like explain that plot hole, plot hole in Star Wars that uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi's hiding out but he's living in Vader's home planet under the name Ben Kenobi, like <laughs> you know, <laughs> like maybe they could do something like Vader interacts with him, like during the show, and that's how you know he's like, all right, maybe that's one of the like it's there's that shows people they there was still good in Vader, so he's like, oh, I know where Obi Wan is at, but I'm not gonna pursue him because oh, okay. I'm giving him that pass because he was like my mentor and shit like that. Is one way like they could go with it. I don't know. That's just my idea, but that would be pretty cool, I think. And another theory is that they they're gonna show flashbacks to the Clone Wars. So oh, that's cool. That's probably where they're gonna have them appear. Yeah, yeah they'd probably be dope too. Yeah. Well, I still hate sand. Yeah. <laughs> it's so grainy. When it gets up my butt, it makes it itch. I hate it. it because you know there's going to be a sand reference in there somehow. Oh, there has to. If he's yeah. in it. <laughs> That's going to be like so a little, little joke. <laughs> a little wink to the audience. But he hates sand, get it? Anybody he... here else Anybody else here hates sand? Oh, I hate <laughs> it! 
which uh, could lead to a live appearance of uh, Ahsoka, too. Ooh. And they did like flashbacks, so, you know. Because the rumor, too, was that Rosario Dawson was going to pop up on, a, on the Obi-Wan show, too. Nice. And, along with the Mandalorian show. Damn, Star Wars yeah, is think, killing with the with the shows. Yeah, the shows are more <laughs> fucking been more enjoyable than the fucking movies that we've been getting so far, which is sad to say because everybody's waiting for the sequels and it was just like, eh. yeah, yeah. I think the best one was the first one. Yeah, yeah. I still like the Last Jedi. I don't know. I don't know why people hate it so much, but I like it was the like Last I know Jedi, for huh? sure. I I like the Last Jedi for sure, but I I. I like the first one better. Yeah? Even though it felt like a retread. Yeah, it was like a retread. Like, the first one, like, I don't know. I guess I didn't like the fact they killed Han. Like, so, like, you know. Yeah, that was pretty weak. Yeah. I think it would have worked better if they killed them in the second one. Yeah, you're right. You know? Like, come on, man. That would have, that would have like, made people more comfortable with Rey flying the fucking Millennium Falcon. Like, she knew, like, what's going on the entire time. You know what I mean? Like, half Han trainer as a co-pilot or whatever i think that was all harrison ford's fault he just didn't want to oh, do another movie just did. kill me please <laughs> i've been asking this his empire harrison ford was the original john boyea when he was like i'm good <laughs> yeah <laughs> just kill me off if you have to but i'm good <laughs> yeah next thing you know john boyea is gonna be flying planes and crashing them yeah. <laughs> even i Iser, uh oscar isaac was just like when they asked him, like, would you go, you know, go do pole again? He was like, I don't know, maybe I need to buy a new house or something. I'll do it, but like right <laughs> now, <laughs> which was like, uh, I'm like, damn, these dudes did not have a good experience. Yeah, with this. like making these movies. I'm pretty sure like the fan backlash was had to do something with it too. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like the this shit's not even worth it. Like they're not the even person... giving me good stories. Yeah, the only person hype was Daisy Ridley. Yeah, because she was like the Jedi. Yeah, but it should have been like focused on other characters because that's what the original was about. You know, it wasn't just about Luke; it was about Leia, it was about Han. Yeah, after the third movie, I was so tired of Jedi's. Yeah, I I went on a on a Jedi diet. <laughs> like you know what? I don't think we have to do this Jedi shit no more. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I still haven't bought that that new EA Star Wars game that came out with the kid from Gotham. I heard that's good though. Yeah, I heard it was amazing. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the like the games. Better. I don't mind because like the games you could like do cool force shit and you yeah. know chop shit up like like shit you want to see the movies do. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Everything you want to see in the movie is it just in the games? Like there wasn't really people doing like force force pushes like that, right? Like no. or like even like lifting people up with the force or like you know throwing tossing people around with the force. Just her holding the. The giant the plane ship in the third that one. she blew up by accident when she thought you bought it. And that was like, and it took like the third film for her to do some cool shit like that with the force. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Because it, like, it started off like Matt Cool with her like practicing the force, like that scene with her and Leia training, like Leia training her, which was cool. That was cool. But then it was just like, they didn't show no cool shit. That's what it was. Like, how do you, how you not show no cool shit in the new Star Wars sequel? <laughs> yeah. Like, I really. No new is cool either light- Jedi shit. Yeah, it's just like fucking lightsaber fights, and that's it. That's it. Some, uh, some- I got, I gotta admit the ability they have where like they transfer the weapons to them and like they pull it out out of nowhere. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. Yeah, but it took them again to the third film for yeah. them to fucking come to that shit. Even though they teased it in the Last Jedi, which they should, they, you know, they were doing more. Like that was something cool. They a new power that the Force had that nobody knew oh, about. Oh yeah, when he grabbed her necklace. Yeah, because that was yeah. like the first time that, because you know that's what uh, people were bitching about that. Because like, oh, the force doesn't do that. But I was like, yo, we never really went into what yeah. the force could do or couldn't do. Like, how do that's you know? True. Yeah, and like, yo, it's fucking cool that you can communicate with people that are fucking tuned into the force. Like, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be about. The force is surrounding us, right? Mm-hmm. So snatch different. something like from so far away. That that yeah. if I was a force user, that should happen to me. I'd be like, oh fuck. Yeah. Be like, <laughs> Yo, he just took my necklace. What the fuck? I liked it. <laughs> be like, I, I gotta fucking uh, train more so this shit won't happen again. Yeah. I'm out here. I'm out here getting robbed like a sock. Suck. 
get your wallet taken like out of nowhere what the fuck man <laughs> <laughs> I would fuck with so many people if I had that power. Yo, who doesn't want to be? That's what I'm saying. Like, how you how you get to the point that people are tired of the Jedi that they don't want to do? Because you don't you don't show the cool shit. Like they had they had to the fucking Mandalorian had to show you like oh you know you could heal people with the Force. That's yeah, true. Baby Yoda. Yeah, everybody loves Baby even, Yoda. Yeah, even though that fucking opened up mad plot holes to the original trilogy because they were like. So why Luke couldn't just heal fucking Vader at the end of uh, fucking Jedi? <laughs> so, you know, bring they him back to life. <laughs> they should re-edit um, uh, Return of the Jedi when, like, Luke walks away from Vader's corpse. No, he doesn't walk away from his corpse. He takes him with him, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so when he burns the corpse, they yeah. should edit a voiceover while he's burning, going, I'm still alive! Heal me! Heal yeah. with, with that power! Oh! No! <laughs> the thousands of years of Jedi Order, we never <laughs> figured out how to fucking heal people <laughs> with uh, the Force. It but some people are saying that uh, that was the power that uh, Dark City has had that the Emperor was talking about. Oh, and, yeah, to bring people know, back to life. Bring people back to life. Yeah. So, you know, it was touched upon, but it was more like a legend. But they just made it into a fact now that, that people have that power. Which is who Snoke should have been. He should have just been Darth yeah. Vader. Yeah, like you know, it's good. You know, give people the obvious sometimes. Yeah. It's not, it wouldn't be so bad. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just instead of having him to just be a clone that the Emperor created. Yeah. That, that you come to find out that it's part of the Emperor. Like Snoke was part Emperor, like in his DNA. That's why he had like certain powers or whatever, I guess. Because yeah. the Emperor was in there somehow, but it was just like that's. Like, you could have come up with an original character. Like, you guys had fucking 30 something years to yeah. come up with a fucking story to this shit. And to explain and, Snoke, they had the vat with, like, his body, body pieces yeah. there or whatever. But he was a clone the entire time. Ta da! <laughs> That's how we did it. That didn't matter. <laughs> Show's over, guys. That's what Snoke was. We just made him. We just do the great actor in Andy Circus <laughs> to do the motion capturing, just to, for him not to be a, a non-factor. And that admittedly dope scene where um, Kylo kills him, and then they fight oh, the yeah. red. Um, yeah, yeah, the throne. Jedis. Yeah, that scene was so dope. And the yeah, when he killed him. I was surprised. I, I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. That fucking shot that, you know, he has, like, he stabbed him with the lightsaber. Then you see yeah. his hand, and he just, like, does the flick to cut him in half. And you're like, yo, like, this is the shit I'm talking about. I did not see this coming. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, shit. They got to team up now and just kick mm -hmm. some ass. At the, I remember thinking at the time, like, yo, where is this story going? This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't know what the fuck's going yeah. on, which is exciting. Then you're like, all right. Now we're going to kill Luke Skywalker. Right? And then for some reason, uh, this guy's back, Palpatine. Yeah, and the next one. Cause, the dead speak. Because people were mad because they tried different shit in the Star Wars movie. Yeah, we wanted the same. We want to know what happens. <laughs> but then we're given the Force Awakens shit because it was just the new hope redone. <laughs> you can't satisfy Star Wars fans. Nope. <laughs> Like you really, uh, Han Solo is really the Obi Wan Kenobi in that movie. <laughs> like oh just, yeah, his spirit like talks to, the to Kylo. Yeah. And instead of the Death Star, we had like the Death Planet <laughs> that just kills mad solar systems. I'm sure the the meeting for that was, what's bigger than a Death Star? <laughs> a Death Planet? <laughs> <laughs> Give that man a raise. <laughs> and the audacity of these motherfuckers to fucking say that shit in the movie. <laughs> it's like 10 Death Stars. <laughs> they should have had Vegeta come out and like goes, It's over 9,000! <laughs> yeah, I remember watching in the theaters and I was like, Oh, you know, you could have, like, it's a, another Death Star pretty much. And it's just like, Yeah, another Death Star. And they fought on top of it. It was a Death Star where. People could walk on it in the surface. Yeah, yeah. 
you, you didn't wear. You have to have like a fucking space suit. Did it even like shoot anything? Hmm. Did that, the that yeah, planet? Yeah, it, it took out like it took out map planets. Oh really? <laughs> like, it took out, yeah, it took out the Senate. Yeah. <laughs> the, oh. That shit didn't mean anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> It's that one planet took out mad planets because <gasps> it's like mad death rays going all in all types of directions. That's like five times the Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have done literally anything else like with the evil plan instead of just blowing up more fucking planets. You like, ever heard this reminds me of like a, a family guy bit where where they came out with a movie called Bigger Jaws? Where Jaws has to team up with the guys who killed him to kill bigger Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I haven't seen that one. Like, oh, look at that Jaws. He's so big. And Jaws, regular Jaws comes out of the water and goes, whoa, that's a big Jaws. I, I, we need to team up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I love that trope. They, they use that trope a lot in, in anime. Yeah. yeah. Like, bigger bad guy is here. Oh, shit. And let's not, team up with old bad guy. Yeah, so the bad guy we're beating up. Let's just make him an ally now. And this and yeah. that. Like, then you're there. Like, you're not fooling nobody with this plot. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this just a million times already throughout, throughout the history of television and movies. That's basically, that's basically every story arc in Dragon Ball Z. That's like pretty every, much every, every next story arc, the villain from the prehistory arc comes through like I, I, well i'm not here to to fight with you i'm just here to defend the planet and when this is done i'm gonna kill you yeah <laughs> but he doesn't he never ends up killing him he becomes his friend yeah. it's pretty much magneto on all the x-men films yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm not good but i don't agree with the guy you're fighting so yeah. this is a temporary thing <laughs> And Xavier's uh, like, but, but Magneto, you're good in the inside. No, I'm not. That's every X-Men movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like, this I am. And it's done playing chess at the end of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the movie's just Charles going, checkmate. Yeah. <laughs> and then Magneto going, let them try. Let them try, Eric. Let them try. <laughs> <laughs> then he moves one of the chess pieces with his powers a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking last stand. <laughs> oh. And the funny part of the chess piece he moved was like made out of wood or something. Oh yeah. So it's like his powers reverse and he becomes wood Nito. There's not so many things made out of wood so I just gotta be throwing trees at you. <laughs> He's in like a facility fighting all these people. He's like, wait till we get outside. Yeah. <laughs> Blinter everywhere. I'm going to be so angry. I'm going to kill all of you. Oh, that desk is made out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better pray there's no toothpicks lying around here. <laughs> I'll take you all out. You know, there will eventually be a scene in the X-Men films when it may look like, like okay. controls wood. <laughs> A toothpick <laughs> just going through like everybody's like throat or like whatever, toothpick. like fucking uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Like oh Fox, my God. the Fox trying to do the cool shit, but with a toothpick. If what <laughs> and... you was real, fucking Groot would be shitting bricks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when they have to go fight him, what Groot would just stay in the ship? Like, I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. Oh shit! Imagine he goes to the facility like the toothpick they have is like a plastic toothpick or some shit. Like, <laughs> God damn it! Like, come on, nobody buys these. It's like, now you guys want to save the trees? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what Nito? That'd be a good parody character. For, really? Like, <laughs> uh, Venture Brothers or something? I only control wood. <laughs> Big. Oh, what's under this carpet? Oh, hardwood floors, <laughs> zoinks. <laughs> well, there's only pine wood around me, so like I could I could hit people with it, but it it like be kind of annoying. Yeah. Ow. But it will smell real nice afterwards. Yeah. Because it's pine. <laughs> I just make everybody go ow. Yeah. Ow, <laughs> ow that wood was soft. 
<laughs> oh my god. We have to look up if there's a character that controls wood. We were like, what a useless character. <laughs> Maybe DC's Magneto. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think DC's Magneto is just the same as Magneto, but just he just had a horrible costume. Man. Yeah, he's a definitely a fucking F-list character. I think he's like a Superman villain. I don't even know his name, but I know oh, it's really? definitely... A- yeah, and I know it's definitely a guy that controls metal in the DC universe. Like <laughs> definitely not a steel villain, because oh. that'll be a massacre. I don't even know any steel villains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, guy, the guy from um, Breakfast Club. Oh. <laughs> Judd Nelson. <laughs> he was the villain in the steel movie with Shaq. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it would have been great if he would have had a steel costume himself and just would have done like the Breakfast Club. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you steel. I, I won't forget about you. <laughs> that should have been a line in the movie. Such hey, a missed opportunity. Fucking steel. You were uh, just horrible for no reason. <laughs> yeah. But fun fact Ray J is in that movie. <laughs> Does grandma know? <laughs> remember, that? remember when we saw the trailer watching Spawn and we just started cracking up when he said that shit in the trailer? <laughs> you know, grandma? Does grandma know? Yeah. I'm great. Right Trying to open a I'm, biscuit res- restaurant. I'm Brandy's brother. <laughs> Yo, last time I, I heard about Brandy was like in YouTube and a video of her getting pulled over and her telling the cop, Do you know who I am? And the cop's saying no. <laughs> <laughs> like, did we talk about it last time? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Like, how she, she was in the train. subway. Yeah, she yeah. was on the train and she started singing, and nobody like, paid attention to her. <laughs> and she was like, she's like, wow, I just gave y'all a performance, and you know, nobody. But you know, it's New Yorker, so we see, we see shit like this all the time, and yeah. we don't care no more. Mm-hmm. We're like, all right, you sing. Like, I go to the next train over. There's gonna be somebody fucking singing yeah. too. Like, the next like, train over is like some a bunch of kids break dancing. And there was like one dude that he was like telling her why nobody was interested, but he was mad polite about it. He was like, "Oh, you know, we see this all the time in the city. Like, mm-hmm. what else could you do that will make us yeah. acknowledge you? Like, anybody could go up in the subway and sing. But I guess she had the mentality like, I'm Brandy. You don't know who I am. Like, yeah." I'm that's what it is. I'm giving you like free shit right now. She I'm expect like, no. everybody to start clapping. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's Brandy. Oh, Brandy! <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> yes. If I was in the subway, I would be like, "Hey, that's Ray J's sister." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo, is that girl from that show, Brandy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Moesha. Moesha. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's Moesha. <laughs> No, but it's funnier that he said, you know, it's the part of the show Brandy. Yeah. I'm getting so many things wrong in, in one shot. The fucking Man- <laughs> the Mandela uh, effect. Yeah. <laughs> she had a show called Brandy, right? <laughs> you say nothing, my roof sucked. Yeah. <laughs> the boy was Monica's, not yours. <laughs> Moesha was whack. It, was, it really was. It was whack. I tried it. It was not good. The what? Moesha. I tried watching oh, it. It was not good. No, I used to fuck with Moesha heavy. I, yeah, I used to like Moesha. I don't know why. I never liked it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Maxine trying to get me into it. And I was like, what the? No. Oh, yeah. That's right. Maxine was into it, too. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, we just. Because there wasn't really too many options on TV. Like, we, like teenagers. You know what I mean? Yeah, when you're true. a teenager, you want to see teenager shit. This is like before the whole Disney Channel boom of fucking preteens and teenager shows. That's when UPN was hot. Yeah, UPN was the channel, the mm-hmm. urban channel. Yep, mm-hmm. the hip yeah. urban channel. And Saturday they had, they had uh, the Incredible Hulk cartoon. Oh yeah, they had the Incredible Hulk. And what else they had? They had another more property, didn't they? Right after UPN was- had um the what is it those uh. Homies go to what is it like? Homeboys in space. Homeboys in space. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> they also in space. I never yeah. heard of that show. What? Remember that comedian Flex? It was with Flex and uh, no, he's no, the what? guy from a different world, the light skinned brother from a different world. 
<laughs> no, no, it was it was the guy from the Cosby Show, the brother Theo. No, no, you're thinking Malcolm and Eddie. Oh, Malcolm- yeah. <laughs> I remember Malcolm and Eddie. <laughs> yeah, correction. I, I, yeah, uh, homeboys were was Flex and it was and the, the, the guy, yeah from from different world. Remember there was like this one light skinned black guy, the Wayne's friend. Yeah, with yeah. The <laughs> not even the Wayne Wayne. It was the friend. Yeah. It was him, and he was like the smart guy that was like the the pilot, and then Flex was like you know the funny guy. Yeah, the comic relief, the space Kramer. <laughs> Whoa, black <laughs> <Like, characters. laughs> Yo, I think um, I saw one episode, and I was like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, me too. I've yeah, never well. seen Homeboys in Space. Holy fuck, I probably forgot about it. Yeah, yeah you probably watched it and just forgot about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> There's no reason to watch more than one episode. I was like, fuck that. I'm going to watch the Wayne Brothers. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I remember Mad Random after Incredible Hulk. They used to play like an anime called Techno Man about a guy oh, that yeah? like transform into a robot and like fight other robots in space and shit. And I was just like, yeah. it's anime. This is before the <laughs> internet. I'll yeah. just watch it. I guess I love it. <laughs> yeah. It was just random anime shit. Like the most oh, yeah. anime shit you can think about, it was that show. It had a lot of people going, oh, <laughs> oh, it's anime. <laughs> it's not Sailor Moon or Dragon Ball Z. No. What? Uh-huh. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Before tsunami. <laughs> Sailor Moon, you're in it for the choke. Dragon Ball Z, you're in it for the punches. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, that meme with Sailor Moon with the Tuxedo Max, that's his name? Yeah. Yeah, is it true? Like, you know, I have done what I came to do, and it's like, they're like, oh, you didn't, you didn't even do nothing? No, <laughs> like, all he would do is just, like, come, throw a rose on the floor in front of the bad guy, and the bad guy would go, oh, shit! And that would give Sailor Moon the chance to do, like, her thing and kill the bad guy. And he would just be like, yeah. ha-ha, I saved the day! And, like, just disappear. <laughs> And then somebody from the Sailor Moon team like, you didn't do nothing, though. <laughs> they should have had somebody go, you didn't do anything. You threw a rose. Oh, that's what I was like, your animates, man. I completely forgot about it until the meme came out. And I was like, oh, yeah, they used to do that shit on that fucking show. for like, Animates all the time. fucking was, weird, man. Fucking weird, bro. They always have guys that look like girls that you think are girls. And you're like, oh, that girl's hot. And then when you find out you're a guy, it's a guy, you're like, fuck, I think I might be gay. <laughs> Which one was the anime that if oh, the guy going into the water, he turns into a, a girl? Ranma, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, where he turns to the girl with like, the red hair and the ponytail. Oh, okay. And, like, guys go after him and shit, and like, yeah. the audience is supposed to be cool with that? I don't know. I, I remember back then thinking, like, nah. Even as a teenager, I was like, nah. <laughs> I'm not into round, but this is my thing. Yeah, like, something's off about this. Sailor Moon, Max. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> Sailor Moon had the lesbians that were a couple. Like the first lesbian couple in anime, I think. In Japan. Yeah, but, in the States. Yeah, yeah. They, they were cousins in the US, right? Yeah. In the US, yeah, they, they were cousins, were, yeah. yeah. They were really close cousins in the U.S. <laughs> they were kissing cousins, if you Yo. will. I remember in Cartoon Network, they had like a scene where like the, I guess, the boy of the relationship was holding the green-haired girl, like, mad close, like, holding the back of her head and shit. Mm. I remember watching that like, hey, that's not her cousin. <laughs> Didn't it make a, a, like, a guy in Santa Moon a girl in the American version? Because it was like, in the, the new thing. No, I think it was the other way around. They made a, a girl a guy because, like, she had oh. short hair in the anime. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And she kind of like the way they drew guys in that anime. Because, mm-hmm. like I said before, with animes, it's kind of hard to tell if that's a guy or a girl. But it's, like, in, like, in not an obvious way because it's, like... You know, like you'll see that it's a girl, like they draw them like a girl, like with long hair, whatever, yes. and you know, like the big girl eyes 
and then like eventually they're like oh yeah i'm a man and like what the hell like you know <laughs> they didn't know that <laughs> oh, oh thank god i didn't it finish ejaculating i'm good i'm safe <laughs> it's like japan is like the most advanced sexually but like at the yeah. same time, they're not really not because they don't really do it. Like, I don't know if they really do it in real life. They just take it out on all the anime they have out there. It's, it's all like, the anime. <laughs> I mean, I'm freaky. <laughs> Even like, you ever watch like Japanese porno? And yeah. it was just like, sometimes they have shit like they just blur out the penetration. And mm -hmm. I was like, what's the point? What is well, the fucking point they, of this shit? They don't blur out the buttholes, but then they blur out the penetration. No, yeah. it's, the, it's the, they, they blur out the supposedly it's pubic hair. They, that's even, all it is. Like, I've seen, I've seen pubic hair not bl blurred out. No, there's, the, uh, there's the uncensored versions. Yeah, I've so, seen uncensored, mm -hmm. but oh, yeah. they were just censored. Like, oh, you're right. They do censor pubic hair now that I think about it. Why censor pubic hair? As a I don't know. over there. Yeah. In anime, you can't show pubic hair, but you can show like uh, in Dragon Ball Z, Goku with like his dick and balls hanging out, fishing. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Well, well, most countries overseas, they're fucking more lax with showing nudity on TV. So true. I'm not surprised. Yeah. It's over here. Just, we just have a titty attack. Like, oh my God. We had a titty attack off of Janet Jackson's titty. And it was covered. <laughs> <laughs> it was covered. Yeah. It was whack. It was. Yeah. I was she like, had, damn, like, what is star in it? Yeah, because it was like one of those pasties like she had yeah. on. Like, I guess for the. That fucking Justin Timberlake, <laughs> and that's why everybody's love for Justin Timberlake disappeared. Right yeah, now. yeah, <laughs> it was her fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he threw her under the bus. I was like, God damn, dude. He lost like, his black card. Yeah, sure. I was like, dude, <laughs> we supported you, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you fucking betrayed us off of a titty. Imagine going for a girl's titty and she has a ninja star on that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> you just take it off and throw it on a wall and let, let it stick. <laughs> Weren't like pasties a thing though back in the back in those times? Like, wasn't that like a fashion thing? Just to have like the pasties on? I think so. But, I'm, it was like uh -huh. late nineties, wasn't it? No, that was yeah when little, when little Kim did it. When little Kim had her titty out. Yeah, <laughs> when the pasty. That's true. But I think I think what it was with Janet Jackson was I think it was planned. Yeah, and, it looked like and, it was yeah, and then they try to act like it wasn't. That's yeah. the what made it weird to me because it was like it was clearly planned. Because why would he like do that in the first place? Yeah, and then he has pasties, so of course, of course, it's planned. Yeah, I think that, I thought I thought where they fucked up was that it only only one titty ripped out. Uh, so out. Yeah, because I'm it assuming was it was something that would have been like both, oh, like, uh, you know. But then all enough. Yeah, and then I think that what happened was it was like, for, you know, people were like, "Yo, what the fuck was that about?" <laughs> and then, and then they were like, "Oh shit, we fucked up. We, oh, it was a mistake. He wasn't supposed to do that. Or, you know, like yeah. it got it became that." The excuse yeah. was that he was supposed to rip out the black part of the bra and the red part underneath was supposed to stay. Mm -hmm. but Which like, is what's the point dumb. of that? No, yeah. but then like like you say, like you know, it's part of the thing because like they do it at the end of the song, which is like. Get you naked at the end of the song, yeah. which is like, yeah, like it's coming yeah. off. But then, like, they made it, they made it worse by like assuming that, like, insinuating that it was just like Justin in the moment that he just like, ah, yeah. I'm gonna rip yeah. out. I'm like, dude, that makes you look like a it's fucking worse. freak, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, a rapist. <laughs> like, yo, you just assaulted her on, on, on a fucking <laughs> halftime show. They thought everybody's gonna be like, oh, art, yes, yeah, art. <laughs> That's art. We love it. When I, I remember watching, I was like, "Oh, I was like, okay." <laughs> and I was like, "Titty," <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> "But it wasn't like nipple out or anything." Yeah. So I was like, "All yeah. right." It's like, and it was such a wide screen, like like a wide of view. You know what I mean? Like you yeah, didn't yeah. saw anything. So it was like, "What?" Yeah, that was like a quick shot, and then he just pulled mm -hmm. away right away when he did it. Being a guy, like our immediate um, reaction was not to be offended. It was you oh, it. titty. Titty, yeah. Titty. Like, oh, that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why like, you pause to see if like her nipples out or not because it was so fast. Like you yeah. didn't get to catch it. Like oh, she has like a fucking pasty on. He's <laughs> like, even oh. just starting like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Where's this purple star? Her nipple is supposed to be. 
Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson got purple star nipples. <laughs> Put it all over the tabloids. Janet That's Jackson star nipples. Jackson house. <laughs> <laughs> Take a quick bathroom break. BRB. I'm, uh, I'm gonna grab another white claw. Right back. That thing, like you never can see. <laughs> Janet Jackson, all right. Because we could talk about the Ninja Turtle stuff when Freddy gets back. Okay. This is all going to be cut, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I always cut this stuff out. That's why yeah. I want to ask Freddy, too. Does he, like, when he puts the stuff on YouTube, does he cut the shit out when we just walk <laughs> out like a long time? Yeah, I don't think he keeps it. This is like, it's obvious. Yeah, yeah. Especially when we like, toss like this. But, like, uh, usually when he does it, like, it, when it's me, you, or me and him, we, we usually keep on talking anyway, so it's not too bad. But, yeah. Like, today, it's just been, like, everybody's just bouncing at the same time, mostly. Mm -hmm. All right. So, from and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> what are we talking about? So, we're going from, we're going from uh, titties to turtles. <laughs> same difference. As a yeah. ninja turtles. Oh, shit. <laughs> TMNT. And supposedly there's a new movie coming out, right? Yeah, it's um, it's it's gonna be produced and I think written by Seth Green and his uh, his uh, his team. Oh, and, like, Seth uh, Green. I was thinking Seth Rogen. Oh no, I'm sorry, Seth Rogen. My bad. Oh, okay. Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> Not Chris Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, but it's gonna be all CG. So it's like, um, it's gonna be like the TMNT, you know, from 2007. It's gonna be like a quote animated movie, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's all like I guess three D animation, you know. So, yeah. you know, something different. Mm -hmm. See what happens. I it's feel like if they do Ninja Turtle movies, it has to be CG now. Yeah. You you think the live action is done for Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't work now. I mean, no, I just... maybe a, a combination of of the two. Yeah. I don't know. I just think that Michael Bay just fucked it up. Oh, yeah. yeah, like he just <laughs> like going all the way for like full CGI for the turtles instead of like you know just having some practical effects. Yeah, would have been like a little cool. Like just just had like I don't want like more natural. Like even though fucking four grown ass turtles are not gonna be natural, <laughs> but I, like, it's yeah. better than just having these fucking hulky ass monsters. Fucking They're scary ass turtles. Yeah. yeah. Like, even the cartoons back in the day, they were fucking normal size, like shorter. human yeah. size. Yeah. Like... No, not even. They were shorter. Yeah, they, they were shorter. shorter. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, like, it, it made more sense, if anything. Mm. But, you know, still. I like that they included Vern, though, in this movie. Which one? Vern, the, the news reporter guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even movie? notice that was him. The uh, yeah. Raw Net? Yeah. That's you remember Vern? That. He was like the guy with the black hair and the tie, yeah. like Matt Skinny. Oh, yeah, talk yeah. Like, yeah, talk like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. April, this is my news report. <laughs> April? Oh. <laughs> Every time I think about those fucking movies, though, it's always, it's always Casey Jones in the second one. Now it gets to be fucking tight. Like, tight. Like, Casey Jones was trash in these movies. I remember yeah. watching like the I don't even I didn't even watch the whole I didn't even watch all of part two. I just watched like the first half or some shit. Like once <laughs> they got the van, I think I, I zoned out after that van fight they had. I was like, I'm good. Like I'm not paying attention to whatever this shit is because 
First of all, fucking Steve Armell as Casey Jones was the fucking worst yeah. <laughs> casting ever. And I had high hopes because I was a fan. I was a fan of Arrow at the time. Yeah, me so too. I'm like, oh, he's gonna be a fucking badass like an Arrow and this and that. And most of the movies is like, I'm gonna be a great detective one day. You'll see. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be the best cop in the world. I'm like, that's how you're gonna play fucking Casey Jones as a whiny little ass bitch, like. And that cop too. Remember his voice in the cartoons? He hmm? used to talk like this. <laughs> he talked like this. I yeah. Slammed him in the head with his hockey stick. You scum, you rats. He called everybody like maggots or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah maggots. Yeah, maggots, scum, and like street rats. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> he was like the turtle's version of the Punisher. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. And he never took his mask off. Yeah. Yeah. He was just a mask with a bunch of hair around it. Yeah. <laughs> There's like an episode where like he had to like go to a, like a job interview or something like that. Something like that. Like, <laughs> he, had a, he had a suit on, but he had a suit with the mask on. <laughs> then that's when the cartoon jumped to shark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when it was being more silly than anything. Like, like yeah, the later the, the later seasons were more like um uh fourth wall breaking, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it was a lot of like just making fun of themselves and just like, how cartoons. Why would Casey Jones go to a fucking job interview? <laughs> With a mask <laughs> above all things. It was I, I, I don't know what he did, but I know it was something he, he had a suit on. And he had the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> While wearing the suit. Uh, best live action Casey Jones was in the first movie. Oh man, yeah. that Casey Jones yeah. was beautiful. I'm mad they brought him back in Turtles of Time, but nobody wants to see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the third one, the the yeah, the third live action, like the trilogy. It's called TMNT. Original. Oh wait, no, the when they went Turtles of Time to the J- Japan era thing, right? Yeah. 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 So they had J- Casey Jones like in the beginning, at the end of it, like just, <laughs> then you had like the Turtles go into the past to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. And then like he's like some bum in the past or something like. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. His descendant that happens to be in Japan at the oh. same time with the fucking yeah. some the fuck? bullshit. <laughs> so Casey Jones became like somewhat Japanese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> somehow his it. Japanese ancestors somehow came to America. <laughs> I fucking I remember that we went to we were going to see it in the theaters, but like it was sold out. So we had to go see the Sandlot instead, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, this was a great movie." <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Much better." Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I, I would have enjoyed the Sandlot if we more than Turtles of Time for sure. Oh yeah, he's like Turtles in Time, I'm like nah. Turtles in Time. Uh, that's arcade. No, that's the arcade game. But there is something like Back in Time or something. Like that. I forgot I was what the just name is. Turtles Three. Isn't no, this? It's something it was, it. No, it was Ninja Turtles 3, Turtles in Time, though. It was like oh, the... Okay. It was um, like... Yeah. I'm telling you, man. I remember <laughs> Turtles in Time. <laughs> that was like the thing. That was like the marketing. Turtles in Time. Ninja Turtles... Teenage Mutant Turtles 3, Turtles in Time. It's the dark part of our childhood. Yeah. It was the least popular one, I think. Well, in part two, they didn't even hit nobody with their weapons. <laughs> Yeah. They're using like yeah. toys and toys. Yeah. Like, why have a Ninja Turtle film and you're not going to fucking show them being Ninja Turtles? Like, you're really? ninjas. It was because it was too violent and whatever, and it had to be more kid friendly. Yeah. And that, do, you think we'll ever get, do you think we'll ever get a Ninja Turtle movie ba- like based on like the, the comic, like the black and white I independent one, like which was more. The closest one was the the first movie. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. The, the closest one we ever got to that. Because <laughs> it's that, that part because the, the 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 black and white stuff the the the, the old comic um they took it was basically like that like that scene with with Casey and Wrath that's basically straight after comic. Yeah. The yeah. part where it's like um they're fighting um all the um. The yeah, all, all the foot clans in like April's house or whatever, that's all in the oh, comic. Yeah. So stuff like that that is like, you know, uh 
I guess the closest it got to it. But I think um, if they re if they reboot it, like I don't know. I think they I don't think they need to. I don't think they need to re redo this again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like redo it. Like I think it just has to. Um, it has to be like we know who the turtles are. They're established already. Let's just make it make Let's a, make movie, a turtle you know? movie. Yeah. Because if they're doing origins, it's gonna be annoying as fuck. Yeah, like, I don't want to do that shit again. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to find out they were fucking April's pet turtles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once I saw that, I was like, no, because like uh, that movie. I, I heard had, about that. Yeah, I didn't want to see that at all. Like, uh, make it like, crazy. Like, that, that scene. <laughs> uh, that scene when they like in the snow with the jeeps. It, it, that shit looked dope. Like the action. Yeah, that scene looked really cool. But like. All that other shit, like, uh, they had to reshoot the shredder shit because nobody was, everybody was gonna be pissed if that dude was gonna be the shredder. Yep. And I was like, yo, come on, man, mm-hmm. can't get this shit right. Cause that guy was gonna be the shredder. Yeah. So it was like, nope. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, just... this the movie had a bad rap because like they were thinking about making the turtles aliens. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Which could have worked anyways, but like, it's it's the way you come. You do it that I I would appreciate or at least be okay with, and I I felt like they were going the wrong route. You know, what I mean? they're already going the wrong route because it's like even if they were aliens, so Shredder is here in, in New York, and this is no like this is dumb. It should be like where, if anything, it should be, if it's gonna be aliens, it should be like a fucking uh, a fish out of water story. You know, yeah. where like they're trying to figure out like yeah what the, what how Earth is or whatever, but like. Even that is fucking dumb. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like that alien bullshit. And then fucking uh, Splinter learned uh, ninjutsu through a book. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was dumped in the sewers. That was in the uh, Megan Fox one, right? Yeah. yeah. Fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> Even like in the original one, like oh, he was just mimicking. The fucking his master's move, like As a rat that was next more to him fighting in the cage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, like, I don't know why they didn't go with the route of just ha- having like the dude mutate into a, a human oid rat. Like, you know, what I mean? <laughs> that would have been cool. <laughs> that would have been more believable than the fucking pet rat mimicking. No, like, the, it, it's it's in the cartoon. It was like that, but that didn't make sense because he goes. So he so so when when they touch the ooze, he turned into a rat. But it's like, oh, be- I turned into a rat because I was just recently like playing with the rats because he had like pet rats. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't make sense because once the once the turtle he saw the turtles, he grabbed the turtles, he touched the ooze, so he would have been turned into a turtle if that was that logic. With that logic, in the comic, the- it was just a rat that went. It to the- like, yeah, it was exactly like in the movie because in the in the comic. Uh, the Hamato Yoshi and Oroku Nagi were were um were you know like rivals and then the girl and this and that and when they 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 had a they fought and Hamato Yoshi killed uh Oroku Nagi so what ends up happening is they go to so he him and his pet rat and his wife go to uh, New York and then that's when Oroku Saki comes in and he kills uh, the wife and Hamato Yoshi and he becomes the Shredder. Mm-hmm. So like that's how it is in the in the comic. And then um, so the whole so the whole point is um, in the first issue the whole point is to fucking the turtles for the turtles to kill Oroku Saki. So they kill they kill Shredder in the first issue. So it's like um, you know. That's that, but uh, it, it's better the way it was. You know what I mean? Where it's like he he's a rat and turned into because you got to think of the logic of the of how the ooze works. You yeah, know? yeah. The way like the way they did it in part two in the the second movie, the um, secret didn't, of the ooze. Didn't, yeah, secret of the ooze. That's that logic didn't make sense because they took a, a, a oh no wait they did no 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 okay yes. Uh, okay, forget it. I was thinking of the wrong thing. I was mixing. I was mixing um, the cartoon 
because I was thinking that that they took a, a Toka and Razor, but they were like met like they took a man and they took a a, a pig and this and that. But I did that in the cartoon, not in the movie. So it's the like they were just animals that turned into yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like I I thought that they messed up with the continuity. You know what I mean? I got I mixed up the, the cartoon with the movies. Gotcha. But yeah. Toka and Razor were creating the movies though. Yeah. It's just I was thinking that I, I had the image of uh, Bebop and Rocksteady in my head, but that they were Toko and Razor in the movie for some reason. When I was a kid, I was expecting Bebop and Rocksteady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember watching like this and that. Yeah, I was Bebop. like, what happened to There's some bullshit. Yeah. But there's people that love Toko and Razor. There's like, there's, there's, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're the Bebop and Rocksteady of that universe, you know? Yeah. For the so it's like... Yeah, You're yeah, a canon too, so it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. It was like, but like at the time, you're like, this is fucking some fake-ass Bebop and Rocksteady. <laughs> like Bebop and Rocksteady. Sure. Fuck out of here. I don't know. I think the first one is still the best turtle movie, live action-wise. Ever. Yeah. The first yeah, one. I think the animated movie. I really like the animated uh, TM. Uh, yeah, that was a really good one. Yeah, that was a good one too. I was like, damn, that shit was dope. Turtles Forever was really good too. Yeah, yeah, I remember watching that one. That was the that was the TV one, right? That, yeah. Like, all the players, the like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a good fucking movie too. Yeah, it was, Yo, it was funny because I was watching uh, Workaholics. <laughs> I remember they were like in the sewer. <laughs> and they're like, yo, I'm my clan slow. <laughs> but and like your aunt just wanted to be Leonardo and they're like, all right, you could be the then like <laughs> when they were mad at each other, he's like, yo, you're not Leonardo, you're fucking Danny, yo. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> I'm not fucking Danny. <laughs> yo, that fucking fuck show man had me fucking die. <laughs> yo, that scene had me fucking die. And I was like, yo, he said Danny. <laughs> Brought it back to Danny, man. Fuck Danny. <laughs> My man with the First. deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> but then you realize like everybody hated Danny. Yeah, <laughs> the worst. Fucking reason why fucking April's fucking apartment burned out. Yeah, mm -hmm. when he stole money from April's purse, I was like, "Yo, fuck this kid." <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, good shit, <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Look at Danny. <laughs> I gotta use that, man. I gotta yeah. find a, a situation where I can use that shit. Man, you're not no ninja, so you're fucking Danny. You're fucking yeah. Danny, man. Fuck that. I think anybody our age would be like, take that shit as an offense. Yo, like, yeah. like, yo, what the fuck you said? If I say I'm Leonardo and somebody says, no, you're Danny, yeah. that shit would hit me in the fucking heart. <laughs> Sir, that was skating. <laughs> oh, I love workaholics, man. Even though like I'm, I'm rewatching it, and I was like, man, there's a lot of problematic shit that you guys oh, be doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was yeah. I'm like, first of all, like, why did I talk about dick so much? <laughs> <laughs> you the episode with the pedophile? Oh yeah, with the Chris D'Elia one. I yeah, was yeah, like, yo, but okay. <laughs> they had the the one with Mo the Montez pool party. That was the Ninja Turtle shit that they had to hide in the sewer. Yes. That, that Jillian was like, oh, I'm going to work on my impressions. I have, I have a whole bunch of wigs. But then she's like doing an impression with the kids, but she has the wig on her vagina. And be like, oh, this is my character, Harry Bush. And she's like showing the kids like her vagina. And I was like, yo. <laughs> wow. Like, what's up with this pedo shit? Yo. <laughs> it's like, yeah. that's like for like those conspiracy theories, guys. Like, look. Look at Hollywood. You know. I was just about to say, if I follow QAnon, I would be super suspect. And yeah. post memes of that shit all over the place. Be like, these guys do that. These guys show the genitals to little kids. And shit. Look what this but girl like, on the show's doing. Instead of just being like, oh, these guys have cringy, cringy humor. And it's just like, yeah. oh, you know, they're trying to make some edgy shit. But at the same time, it's like, all right. <laughs> this is the type of shit I'm going to laugh at when I'm alone. Like who, who in the writers' room was just like, oh, you know, Jillian's showing her bush to the kids, and they, you know, and then they approved that shit. Yeah, 
<laughs> and they filmed it. <laughs> Where, and she had like a hairy ass bush coming out of her, her panties <laughs> and one of her wigs. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. That show is fucking classic. Oh, workaholics, man. It's just like I'm watching the, the episode on Mars when um Anders' dad visit. <laughs> Thor? And that's was, yeah, Thor. 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 And that's when they were talking about dad dicks. And I was like, yo, <laughs> no dad dicks. <laughs> I yo, was like, <laughs> I, that was one of the jokes that like I completely understood. I remember when I was a kid, like, dad dicks was like fucking impressive as fuck, man. <laughs> I remember when I saw my first dad dick, I like screamed out loud, like, yo! <laughs> you have a really big dick! <laughs> it wasn't even but, my dad. <laughs> it's like you're, in, you're just in a public restroom and you see an old man, uh, dad walk in with you. I, I like, just yelled and pointed at him, oh, he has a big dick! <laughs> then you remember, you're like a little ass kid, so that shit's gonna fucking appear huge to you. Like, yeah! Oh, as a kid, that was like the size of my arm. It's like, I mean, according to me, it wasn't. But I was like, yo, what the fuck? He's a monster. You see? But that was a great thing about workaholics because you don't even remember this shit until they <laughs> mention it. Like, yo, that's true. Like, yo, that's crazy. But I never, like, like he pointed to, like, dad things. Like, it was, like, <laughs> a grown man. But they just called it dad. It was, like, somebody's dad. dad. <laughs> you could only see a dad dick when you were a little kid. <laughs> yeah, and like the part that I had to cut off because I had to go somewhere was like when they like find out this uh, Anders dad's name is Thor, and it's like, yo, oh, like is it? Do you name your dick Thor's hammer? <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> like you have to, you have to name it. Oh my like, god, I wish my name was Thor. <laughs> I'll call my dick a Thor's hammer. Yeah, I'll call my dick Mjolnir. 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 <laughs> That's why I was like, damn, they don't even say it in the show. I was like, oh, they probably even try to pronounce it. <laughs> they yeah. were like, Thor's Hammer. <laughs> Maj- 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 <laughs> but I was like, these dudes are mad happy when they're talking about dicks. <laughs> yeah. was like, was like, if I was Thor, my dick's name would be Mjolnir, but my butthole's <laughs> name would be Yarbjorn. <laughs> Yarbjorn. 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 And my taint would be Stormbreaker. <laughs> oh, they, they had that one episode where um, with the episode where where uh, what's his name? Adam starts starts dating the owner of the building, that old lady. Oh yeah, yeah. When he was at like, the workout, the, the yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, they were him and Durs were about to fight or whatever, yeah. and like Durs has a boner the whole time. <laughs> and like Blake is like, yo, chit 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 chit. Fight boner, fight boner. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then he like looks at the like how like it's like little bump is like not you know it's basically like it went down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, you guys go fight again, and then they both have boners. Which yeah. <laughs> again, there's like, yo, I'm gonna like stomp you out with my feet. Yeah. Immediately they got bonus like, oh, he, he mentioned feet. Yeah. <laughs> that show's a classic, man. I'm rewatching it on Plex. <laughs> like, I just like going through it because I'm like, damn, it's so it fucking. I don't know why I didn't get that recognition and like it should have got. Like, it should have been more popular, I think. But I really just think the been. humor, the humor didn't connect with. Yeah. Yeah. It could have been. It, it can't be mainstream. You're nah. talking about dad dicks and fucking <laughs> yeah. yeah, episodes like the two muscle guys fucking in the house. <laughs> Don't want Tim Heidecker. Oh yeah, but that's the thing too because I'm like, yo, these these guys are supposed to be friends, but they just dickheads to each other. Because I'm like, damn, they fucking sabotage each other like on the regular, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Durs is like the only one who could drive. <laughs> Or when uh, uh, Anders is a uh, pen pal from Sweden comes over and like uh, homegirl oh, the 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 character homegirl dies in the office and they have like a wake for her <laughs> and they just keep on calling her homegirl. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're like damn these dudes are fucking losers though, man. That's a shit when 
Anders like, yo, we're pen pals and this and that. And then she goes, I just wrote to you for two years. After that, I was my little brother. <laughs> and they just, I was like, Damn. he's like, yo, I touched your titty once when I was over there. Yeah. <laughs> But then Anders goes, I had you for two years, though. <laughs> I had you for two years. <laughs> you remember this episode where they had a flashback when they were in college? Oh, was, yeah. They made Anders look just like Archie. <laughs> you know, fucking Adam boning a girl on a diving board and he just tossed his off. <laughs> While he was born, he was like, this is the best time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like the one time he always talks about <laughs> like oh that one time I got that ass in college and I was like the only time because he fucked it up no yeah. but the one thing no it was like one episode the the man up the man up trip when they were like oh we got a man up we gotta go camping oh my and, God. The, and the bum steals the car where Anders <laughs> and he was like yo this is like that Jamie Foxx movie <laughs> <laughs> What was it? The whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, you, it's like you're Tom Cruise and I'm Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Collateral. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. And that scene where Adam shoots the... What's that called? The, <laughs> the spear at the car. And the harpoon car, yeah. The harpoon and it, like, it. pulled him over. <laughs> Yo, Adam stays getting <laughs> fucked up, man. <laughs> like... But I think the next episode I'm, I'm, after the Anders dad is the when Montez like jerks off Anders and like <laughs> Adam almost fucking hangs himself on the tree. Oh my god! Yes, I love that episode. Yeah. Yo, that's season two. Season two was it? Se- no, season three. That's season three. I'm like, that's when season three like because the first two seasons just had ten episodes each, and season oh, three has like, had twenty something episodes. God and I was damn. like, yo, because they were like, yo, this shit's funny, bro. It's like they got. And he's just like, when they come down, he's just fucking crying like a bitch. It's like, yo, I, I, I ever saw Peter the Beast once. <laughs> That's like my favorite movie. <laughs> yeah. And when Blake was trying to save him, he was like, no, my baby, my poor baby. <laughs> Man, a oh. great fucking classic. I yeah. love that fucking show. Yeah. To this day, yeah. Adam Demand reminds me of a, a friend of ours, Gio. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Like, there's this part where like they they ask him if he fucked a girl with a rubber or not, and like he didn't say anything, he just smiled at them and walked away and like hit a sign. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo, that's exactly some shit Gio would do. He's like, yeah, I did that. I hit it raw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, but like, yo, Jay will do some workaholic shit. Like, yo, yeah. was, yo, he'll come. He, it was like the first time he came up to Buffalo when it was just him and Ant, right? Yeah. And our friend Anthony. So I had a couple friends come visit me in college, and like this dude was just a pretty boy, Geo. Pretty boy, didn't have to have much game. Girls just fucking messed around with him. Yeah. So, you know, he thought, like, oh, you know, I could smash any girl raw. Like, I don't have to wear a condom because I'm here. <laughs> yo, there was girl. one chick. In, like, yo, he bagged one chick that everybody was like, yo, everybody was trying to fuck this one chick in, in Buffalo. It was like, her name was Sandra. She's just mad bad. Like, she was mad, you know, cute, cute girl. And I was like, yeah, Gio's definitely bagging. They had the same birthdays, too. So, I was oh, like, oh, that's it. Gio's that. Like, oh, October 26th. Yeah. Like, all right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's Scorpio season. <laughs> so he was telling me, like, yo, this bitch is, you know, you know, I'm trying to hit it raw. And, like, I'm in there. And she stopped me. She's like, yo, put a condom on. And he's like, it's, yo, it's all right. You know, I don't wear condoms. And he's like, yo, like, nah, dude, that shit don't work for it. Like, yo, Pete, you, not everybody's going to let you hit raw, bro. <laughs> like, you have to wear a condom for something. <laughs> But you know, I was like some fucking Adam shit to do. It's like, nah, it's, you know, I don't wear condoms. <laughs> it's like, no, that doesn't matter. You don't wear condoms. You're gonna have to wear a condom. He's like, it's alright, it's alright, it's me, Casper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then like the funny story is that he ended up staying because the thing was the girl lived 
there was two campuses. When you lived on campus, there's two campuses in Buffalo. North Campus, which was like Amherst, which is like the nice area, the white, the quote unquote white area. That you know, the everything was nicer. The South, was, South Campus was the hood. <laughs> it was just like you know, but you could take a bus to go, and it was like free bus service, right? Mm-hmm. For some reason, he was stranded in North Campus. Like he just stayed in the room like for three days. <laughs> like what like the fuck? In a, yeah, like why? I'm like, yo, Gia, just come over. There's a bus. She knows the fucking bus. But I'm like, damn, this bitch just has him in her room. Like, while she goes to class and he's just there. He's like, yo, I haven't ate anything. And I was like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm like, dude, she has a fucking meal plan. Like, she can get you some fucking food if she wants, bro. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, I'm like, why are you just there though? <laughs> like, you, you, I'm telling you how you. He said, like, yo, come pick me up. Come pick me up. I had a car. <laughs> but I was so upset that it was so easy. Like, she knows how to get here. Like, she can help you. <laughs> like, why are you not asking for help? Why are you at, Why are you gonna make me come over there to get you? Why you wanted to go over there to get some ass? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, Gio's just there, like in her bed, like waiting for her to come back from class, <laughs> like. And I'm like, yo, I bet you're still naked in the bed, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, her roommate's giving me, like, nasty looks and shit. <laughs> like, oh! Because she was living, like, I guess, I guess the girl was like, you know, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, dude. It was like, you're just there all the time, like, for three days. That's like so fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, he was mad awkward, like, the Adam shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that shit reminded me. They're like, yo, she just had you for sex, and you just like, you didn't leave the room the entire time you were there. Whenever she goes out to class, I imagine I'm just like holding the pillow, sitting yeah. in her bed, just waiting for her to get there. He's staring at the door. And when she comes in, she's like, oh, you're still here? <laughs> then, then, like, me and Anthony were making fun of him, like, that that bitch is starving you, bro. Like, you're gonna die. <laughs> like, that was her game. Yeah, she's had for the sex <laughs> on some praying mantis shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Once he passes out, she eats him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma take your life now and your fake tan. <laughs> <laughs> I am right, I remember the tan. <laughs> Good, you used to go hit up those Hollywood tans. Hollywood tan, <laughs> that's where everybody went. That's where everybody was going. Get that dark skin in the winter. <laughs> Get that Christina Aguilera tan from the dirty oh, video. Man. That was in a tan. That was just yeah. an orange marker that they rubbed on her skin. It's a little dirty. Yeah. She just rolled around the dirt for a while. Yeah. It's funny, though. I was like, damn. Adam is really like a less less successful Geo. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Geo if everything went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, didn't uh, Adam break both his arms in the show? Yeah. <laughs> yo, that episode, I was like, yo, that's when Dia just fucking dislocated both his shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking play, don't touch the floor. <laughs> you trying to be Robin? <laughs> yo. It's like, I'm yo, Robin. I got the call. Maxine called me the next day telling me the story. I'm like, but how the fuck? I'm like, how the fuck both shoulders? I thought the and, they were just like he swung, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. And when he jumped, when he got down, he was just like, "I broke my shoulders, my shoulders, my shoulders." <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I remember him telling me like he just thought he could just jump into like uh what the monkey bars like down the thing, but his yeah. shoulders didn't fit, so like his shoulders just got caught and. Then, Got dislocated. Clap, clap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's who starts. Oh, my shoulders! My shoulders! <laughs> yo, yo, the funny shit was the doctor. He was like, how both of them at the same time? <laughs> no, the funny thing is, is that he was just like Robin when it happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And not just any Robin, Chris O'Donnell Robin. <laughs> you were there that day? I wasn't there, but I heard about it. And that's like no, one of the main points he brought up about it. Like, yeah, I was just like Chris O'Donnell. 
<laughs> no, because then like then Maxine was like, yo, that him athlete had to like hold his shoulders, arms up, <laughs> but his shoulders don't hurt him <laughs> while they're oh, in the ER. Oh my god. He had like their shoulders on top of them, like just like this, <laughs> like holding up, like holding his shoulders up because the pain was too much while they were waiting for the ER doctor. Oh my god. Holy shit. I think he. I think he had a. He got surgery. Like they popped it back in, but he elected to get the surgery to fix it. Because oh. he would have been like Mel Gibson, just pop his shoulders out like whenever he wanted, like he needs the weapon. Oh, fuck. That's when I was like, yo. When I heard, it, I'm like, yo. But how both fucking shoulders oh, he fucking yo. dislocated? <laughs> like, damn. But the, the thing that got me was when he was screaming, "My shoulders!" <laughs> like, <laughs> that was some Adam shit. <laughs> So every time I see that episode of Workaholics, I think about Gio because I'm like, yo, how the fuck you do both arms? Like, <laughs> oh my god, yo, fucking wild times, bro. Uh, being a teenager was fucking weird. Yeah, now yeah, God, he was yeah, it was because yeah, I was still in high school when that shit happened. I remember. Yeah, it yeah. was high school. He was still in Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Good times. Uh, I think that's a perfect way to end the podcast for today. <laughs> that story was fucking hilarious. We can't, I don't think we could top that shit after that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking some hay stories that could definitely top it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Save for next time. <laughs> Yo, guys, man. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, guys. Our viewers, our listeners overseas. Yo. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Iron and Gang. I'm learning some uh, some Irish slang next time. Dublin, what what? Yeah, Dublin. About to do some car bombs, B. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> but yo, like always, opinions like assholes. Everyone has one, and we're just a couple of assholes with some opinions. Peace. We love you all. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time. Same.